Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to be coming your way again. God will bless you. We lay his hand on you. He will grant favor to be your portion as you're moving in your journey in life in Jesus' name. Very quickly, today we want to look at something in the Word of God in Isaiah chapter 30, verses 29 to 31. Say, so you shall have a song as in the night when a holy, holy solemnity is kept, and gladness of heart as when one squared with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel. And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the lightning down of his arm, with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of the foreign fire, with scattering and tempest and hailstorm. For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down, and uh, waged smoke with a rod. What this place is talking about is talking about the punishment of God upon the people that are against the people of God, the nations that are against the people of God. And here, there is a great formula that God has shown us here on how to handle our enemies. He said, We shall have a song that instead of panicking, instead of being afraid, instead of jittering, Instead of worrying, we should engage in praise. Praise is a weapon that the enemy cannot understand the mystery forever. When challenges come, don't sit down and be pitying yourself. Rather, rise up and take up the challenge of praising God in the midst of your storm. As you sing it, that song, as you praising him, even in the night season, especially in the night season, you engage in praise, you engage in thanksgiving, you are dancing. And as you're doing that, the Bible says you do it with the gladness of heart. Not that you say, I don't know if this thing will work. Just leave everything for God. Go ahead and praise him. Rejoice in him. As you're rejoicing in him, as you are praising him, then... He will speak. He say, and the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the living, the lightning down of his arm. So praise, especially midnight praise, releases the mighty hand of God against every enemy of the people of God. So this is a secret you must understand. Anytime there is a challenge, engage in midnight praise. Go ahead and sing. Go ahead and celebrate him. Go ahead and thank him because he has conquered. He has made you a conqueror. You are not fighting from victim to become a victor. You are fighting from victory. And you will move from victory to victory. It's not as if you are cast down. No, never be cast down. Allow God to have his way. Allow God to take control. This place is very, very key. It shows us a very deep mystery. The power of midnight prayer. The power, or the, the power of midnight praise. The power of midnight celebration. The power of midnight engagement with God. In Isaiah chapter 30, verses 29 to 31. He says, You shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept and gladness of heart. As when one goeth with a pipe to come into the mountain of the Lord, to the mighty one of Israel, you will have a song in the night. You take up your pipe, your instrument of praise, in, uh, keeping a holy solemnity, keeping a vigil of praise. Praise Him. As you're praising God in the night season, against every attack, against every harassment of the devil, what will happen? And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard. The enemy will hear the voice of God. And this voice of God is not going to be a cool voice of a gentle voice of God. The voice of his anger. And shall show the lightning down of his arm. With the indignation of his anger. And with the flame of a devouring fire. With scattering and tempest and hailstone. For through the voice of the Lord that shall be uttered at night. 
that shall be uh, released at night shall the enemy be beaten down. The Assyrian be beaten down, which smote with a rod. Whatever attack of the enemy upon your life, just engage in midnight praise. Praise him. Dance in the night. Sing. Concentrate on God. Don't be bothered by your problem. Face God because God is bigger than your problem. As you praise Him in the night season, as you dance, as you celebrate Him, the enemy will be confused. Now, regardless of what we are doing, this guy is still praising God. This woman is still praising God. This person is still thanking God. And through that praise, that praise will, because the Bible says God inhabits the praises of His people, through that praise, God will speak. God's arm will be released against every attack of your enemy. I'm praying for you today that you understand the secret. It is key to your victory. Midnight praise is very powerful. Engage in it in every attack. Engage in it. Don't complain. Don't cry. Just engage in praise. Praise him. As you praise him, you thank him, you celebrate him for his mighty heart. You have instruments. You can play music. You dance. You celebrate him at night. Against every attack, God will speak. And when God speaks in his anger, no enemy can stand. That is why the Bible says, through the voice of the Lord, the enemy shall be smitten. I hope this has helped you. I want you to engage in midnight, midnight prayer, engage every attack of the devil on your life. And you will know that you have discovered a great secret of continuous victory. I pray that the Almighty God will cause His glorious voice to be heard in the camp of your enemy. And that will smite them in the name of Jesus and your life will be at peace. Your life will be at rest in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please, if you like this message, share it. I like it. Comment and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. If you are on YouTube, on Facebook, you can follow us. And God will bless you in Jesus' name. I love you. God bless you.